Yeah, so this demonstration will show the multi-suction solid tool in Katia uh, part design workbench and also within this I'm going to show how to create extremum points so let's begin so notice what I have on the screen I've got a sketch and it's a rectangle and then I've got another sketch and that sketch is a circle so let's create a, a multi-suction solid from this so multi-suction solid combines two or more profiles so there's actually some times where it can just be one profile but as far as this basic definition we'll call it two or more profiles we'll com combine them or what Katia will refer to as couple them together so I'm going to couple this suction with this suction to complete a solid and so I started the multi-section solid definition tool I'm going to select this as my first section so as soon as you select a section make sure you identify the closing point and also the closing direction so here's my closing point so if you need to change the closing point at this stage you can just select another point on the section so notice I'm going around and selecting different points to decide which one I would like to go with so let's go with this one uh, for now but you can also um, you can change this closing direction or what I refer to as a coupling direction so right now it's going to start coupling here and it's going to go to um, this direction going counterclockwise the way we're looking at it so that's important to understand so that's my closing point and my closing direction so I'm going to come to my circle now notice the closing point so there's no point on here right now that I can select that's going to allow me to to do a closing um, direction or at least a closing point so that may present problems but notice that it's close to the upper left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my first sketch and I'm going to just right click into it I'm going to go replace closing point I'm going to move it back to here so you can see that you can still move closing points around even after you've established the section. So I'm going to hit preview and let's see what the results give us. So the coupling mode, we've got issues with coupling modes, which I expected. So if I go to my third tab here, I've got four coupling modes. I've got ratio, tangency, tangency, then curvature, and vertices. And in my opinion, tangency, then curvature is a standard that you need to shoot for. Uh, what that will do and but that's difficult uh, but that creates the best surface I can change this to ratio and let me change it to ratio and do a preview and it works but it gives me a really bad part what's happening here with ratio and I have another video on this too so if you want to check out the other video I would highly encourage it but notice as I come here the first point which is the closing point is connected to the closing point of the second section and see notice their directions are going the same way uh, but then the rest of this is uh, based off of a ratio uh, a curve linear to ratio between the points on this section and what would be points on this section so and there are no points in this section but notice what's happening here so the second point on this section, which is this vertex, is being calculated and connected to a coupling point on this section via an algorithm. And then notice I've got another coupling line, you can see it here, coming in to there. And then, which again is an imaginary point, then I'm coming back here going from this vertex to an imaginary point here etc but that, that's that is just not a really good part in the end and it's not allowed in my classes with my students and I tell my students if I see ratio coupling mode you're automatically losing points so beware so but any of these other ones if I did tangency it's not going to let me. If I do tangency and curvature, we've already seen it doesn't let me. If I do vertices, 
it doesn't let me. So the only thing it's going to, the only coupling mode that it's going to allow the way I've got this set up now is ratio, which presents a really poor surface. So and you can see kind of how poor that looks. So how do I fix that? Well, you got to be creative. So you've got to, in this case, I'm going to show you how, what I refer to as manual coupling. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things here. Um, I'm going to do manual coupling, which is going to manually match points, in, or in this case vertices from this section, to points I'm going to create on this section. So I'm going to be very intentional how I match my points. But I don't have points, at least none that I prefer. So I've got to put in some points here to do the matching. First thing I want to show you, and this is a tool, uh, it's called an extreme on point tool. It's going to come in handy for you later, but right now uh, I'm just going to use it to get the very topmost point going so I can lay out four other points from it. So the extreme on point tool is not by default in the part design workbench, but you can find it in the genitive shape design workbench. So I'm going to change over to the genitive shape design workbench. So that's under shape and then genitive shape design. And behind the point tool, you will see a command called extremum. Now, you can grab extremum, you can grab extreme geometry for something like a circle, that extreme geometry is gonna be a point. So if I select the circle and I go, hey, I wanna go the extreme most point on this circle in the Z direction. I'm looking at my compass here to see which one is my Z direction. So that's going vertical here. The extreme most direction, the extreme most point in the Z direction. And notice how it's bringing in a point. And I can go max or min. So that's the minimum most point. That's the maximum most point. But it's giving me a point there because that's as far as I can go in the Z, Z direction and on that curve. So there it's going to give me a point. So that gives me a nice point to begin with, at least to work off of. So that's the extremum point tool. I want to go back to the part design workbench. And so what I'm going to do is I want to lay off four points, four more points using the own curve point. And I'm going to go from here around. So let's begin. So I'm going to go to the normal point tool. It's going to be on curve and it's going to be on this curve and the reason why I put this extreme point is is to have somewhere nice to measure from because Katia won't give you that it gives you some random almost random I'm sure there's a good reason why it's sitting out here off of straight vertical so I'm going to change this extreme point location here to this point so I'll come down to my uh, point definition on curve, the reference point, I'm going to change to be that point that I created. Now I can enter a ratio value such as 0.125. And what that is doing for me is it's putting a point in an eighth of the way around that circle. And that's giving me that point there. And then I can con just continue this process. So on curve reference point, I'm going to change to this top, but actually we can just change to this as my next reference. And I can enter 0.25 ratio going around and just continue the process around. See what I'm doing is I'm creating points that I'm going to use as couplings. So start there and let's go 0.25. And then finally the last one is each time I'm, in this example, I'm going from the previous point and entering an additional quarter of the way around my circle. And that ends it there. So there's my four points. And I'm, when I create my loft now, I'm going to manually couple between the respective vertices here and the coupling point here. Vertex, etc. So Let's do that. So I'm in the part design workbench still, I'm in the part body. Let's go back to the multi-section solid tool. Select my first section, 
And it looks like my closing point is coming in here, which is fine, and it's going counterclockwise as I'm looking at it. Now my second section will be here. Now I need to be more intentional about that closing point. And so I'm just going to immediately select the point that I want it to be. And then verify the directions are going the same way. So now if I hit preview, it's, it's not, still not going to work because it's still it changes the curvature, but it would work with ratio, which I don't like. Uh, so let's do a little manual coupling here. So this is where the manual coupling comes in. So it's, it's like pairing these points up. So I'm gonna pair this point with this point. I'm gonna pair this point with this point. And when I'm done with this point here, and when I'm done, you'll see these extra coupling lines should be gone. So let's do that. So come down here in this little section under the coupling tab and let's just match these up. So I've got two sections, so there should be pairs of two. So I've got a point there and notice down here, there's my first section and then a point on my second section. Then again, just keep picking to their respective points. So there to there. And notice I'm not using that top. I was just doing that as a reference. And here to here. And I think that was it. Let's do a preview. Okay. So I'm still on ratio coupling mode, but it's already looking better. And now let's go to tangency and curvature, the standard that I'm shooting for. And if I look at that, you can that's much better than it was before. So I've got my coupling lines as shown. Everything is nice and symmetric. That's a, that's a good part, feature.